Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Orb Roblox. We all have our silly moments. Anyone who tells you they don't get as little silly sometimes is lying. Sometimes we don't have a goal or a mission to accomplish. Sometimes we just want to walk around aimlessly and do silly things and burst into fits of laughter. Roblox is a world with countless glitches and quirks that users learn about as they go. One of these things is looking like a total noob. Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we will talk about how to look like a noob in Roblox. Number 1. Turning your avatar into a noob. Step 1. So we're starting off by taking this literally. That's right, there is an actual option on Roblox that lets you dress like a noob. This outfit and look might not qualify for Paris Fashion Week, but it will have you and your friends in fits. While we don't support the idea of laughing at someone for what they look like, the whole purpose of this look is to get you giggling. So here goes. Open up the Roblox website in your browser or phone app. On the left hand corner of your screen, you'll see an options bar with options such as home, profile, messages, friends, and others. Click on avatar. This will lead you directly to a page where your character will be standing, alongside multiple settings for their appearance and outfit. Firstly, you have to get rid of anything you've already chosen. Don't worry, removing items of clothing is not inappropriate on Roblox. Your character just won't show up unless they're wearing something, and thank goodness for that. Anyway, untick all the items that you're currently wearing or that you've currently chosen. You need to start fresh. Number 2. Turning your avatar into a noob Step 2 This part is fun. It's where all the colors come in. Click on the body setting and then click on skin tone. In the bottom right corner of the box that pops up, there will be a setting labeled advanced. After you press that, another box will pop up, showcasing a lot of different colors as well as written options for different parts of the body that you can change the skin color of. Let's start with your avatar's face. In the third row of colors, right in the middle, you'll see a dirty yellow shade that sort of looks like... mustard? That's the color you want. Go ahead and click on the face option and then select that color. For your torso, you have to select the color that's right in the middle of the fifth row, a bluish shade that isn't too light or too dark. Now onto your arms. For each of your arms, select the same mustardy color that you chose for your face. For both your legs, you're going to need a green shade. It's the third color from the right and the fourth row on the grid. We know this sounds super confusing, but once you have the color grid out, it'll make total sense. We're pretty sure even your grandpa would be able to make sense of this guide. Although we wouldn't want him to run around dressed as a noob, you also have the option of changing R15 to R6 if you want. An option in the top right corner of your avatar box, which means you're changing your R15 body parts into just 6 parts. But that limits movement, and we want your noob to jump around and go wild. We recommend staying on the R15 mode if you really want to have fun. Anyway, that's about it for dressing up like a noob. Some would even call your avatar a handsome noob. We didn't even know that was a thing. Number 3. Being a gaming noob We throw the term noob around a lot these days. Sometimes, it's not even clear what it means. We went the extra mile and looked up the definition of a noob on Google. Noobs are supposed to be inexperienced people, specifically when it comes to the internet. That made a lot more sense to us and we hope it does for you too. We've all pointed out people who if they don't know how to play far too many times. We've all watched the YouTube videos. We've seen multiple people get insulted for not knowing what they're doing. But you know what? Sometimes it's awesome to do things for no particular reason except to have fun. We have a couple of ways you can get that done. Firstly, in any game, it can be really fun to run around in circles and just jump. Sure, you'll look like a total noob to everybody else, but you'll have the last laugh. Royale High is a fun game to do this in. You can even spot bunnies hopping around while you jump if your friends are playing with you too. Secondly, if you visit your luxuriously designed apartment in Royale High and leave the taps in the bathroom, you'll find your whole apartment. Definitely a noob move. In Roblox High School 2, another way you can act like a total noob is if you choose to be a vice principal or a principal and then attend all the classes. Picture your own headmaster, headmistress, or principal taking all your classes with you. That's a very funny image of someone looking completely clueless and being a noob. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.